the Pakistani army is an asset to the Muslim world or to the Islamic world. But that hoax is being revealed. Generally in the Muslim lands, when somebody joins the army, especially in Pakistan, they feel that they're doing an Islamic duty or they're doing something, you know, something of a noble cause. But if your leader or the leaders or if the red tape, if the bureaucracy and the red tape and the leadership, they're corrupt, it doesn't matter how what your good intentions are. And even the West, you know, gave this kind of like label to the Pakistani army because of how good it was and how powerful it was. And because because it had nuclear weapons and it's the only Muslim country with nuclear weapons, they gave this the, you know, the Islamic bomb label and the label of this is the Islamic army and this is the army that's going to rise. And then who knows what else has been said in the media that it is the Pakistani army that's going to do the Ghazwa Hind and, you know, take over India and do all of this and all that nonsense sense really because the truth is that these journal generals of Pakistan all of them uh, they're all in cahoots for it in the corruption in the money in the materialism in the love of dunya this is not a people like Omar bin Khattab who will be in the front lines of the battle okay these gen generals will sacrifice others before they'll let anything happen to them these people they can't most of these generals that are up there their assets are outside the country, their money is outside the country, their children are studying in foreign universities, you know, the establishment, the power is in the hands of the army. Any journalist and criticizes the government, especially criticizes the army, seems like that they get the same treatment that the people in Abu Ghraib do, Abu Ghraib, the, the American uh, prison system. You know, and uh, it seems like that they have been attacking journalists and suppressing their voice. This is the power of Fir'aun. And you can't do anything against this Fir'aun, which is the Pakistani government. They like Nawaz Sharif uh, over there because he's a weak leader. Uh, he has no backbone. He has no independence. What is the solution? There's only one solution. You know, to some degree, it can be said that we deserve what is happening to us. Because we didn't bring Islam. We didn't establish Islam. We didn't do the work of Iqamatuddin. We didn't establish the Khilafah. And the people that are most against Islam, and the people that will be the most against the truth, and the people that will be against bringing in another system that doesn't benefit them, will be the generals of, in Pakistan I'm talking about, will be the generals of the Pakistani army. It will be the politicians in their pockets. And the politicians in the pockets of the Ismailis, and these people, the elite, they're the ones that have the biggest problem in bringing a system of justice. So while people, it is these same elite that criticize uh, Pakistan that, oh, why don't look at the, the non-Muslim world, they have justice and they have ikhlaq and so on and so forth. And these are the same people who have invested interests overboard, uh, overseas and then they have no problem killing or doing things to suppress and oppress the truth uh, within, let's say, in this context, uh, Pakistan. Now, in the case of this uh, journalist, right, so he was charged with treason, uh, so he went to different places. He went to Kenya, finally, where he got killed. A bullet went through his head. Nine bullets were shot. None of the stories that they're giving of double identity and a mistaken identity, none of those stories are making any sense whatsoever because, you know, if, if somebody is st driving a stolen car, then why are you shooting in the back of the car? Why aren't you shooting in the front? And, 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 and so many other issues that go with that. And this is a, a, a Muslims in Pakistan, they should wake up to the fact that their army is not on their side. And then the problem is that if I say that, then people will say, well, you're, you're saying something that the Indian army would like. No, I'm saying something that's true whether you like it or not. The truth is, the Pakistani army is an enemy of Islam. And the Pakistani army is an enemy of truth. And the Pakistani army has no problems killing Muslims in their own country, Pakistan, via drones or their own people. They have been torturing their jur journalists. They have been killing their own people. They have allowed Muslims in Afghanistan to be killed in numerous amounts. They they have, General Zia killed more than 25,000 Palestinians. So the Pakistani army is a corrupt institute and there is no fixing Pakistan unless you remove the Pakistani army.